Hello and welcome to Inspire Life Productions. Here in this channel, we are dedicated to helping you succeed in your school life by teaching you the vital skills and essential aspects of school that will benefit you and help you to become a better student. This is our second video on organisation skills that will help you improve your school life by staying on top of your workload and maintaining an effective work habit. After watching this video, you'll be able to be more organised and be ready for all schoolwork, homework and assessment tasks. Being organised is a very important part of school life. It keeps you on top of your schoolwork and it helps you maintain an effective work habit. Without organisation skills, you will struggle when juggling many things that is going on in your life at the same time. These may include assignments, homework, sport, work, free time or even all of these mixed together. In our video, we'll be giving you various skills in which you can boost your organisation levels, which will not only help you get through your schooling life, but will also help you in other parts of your life, such as your part-time job and extracurricular activities. So to help you understand more about being organised and how you can be more organised to perform better at school, we're going to answer the following questions. Question one, what does it mean to be organised? Question number two, what does an organised person look like? Question 3. What are the methods which can help you be more organised? And question 4. How does being organised help you at school? Hopefully by the end of our video, after we have answered all of these questions, you will have a better understanding of organisation skills, which will enable you to be a better student and stay more organised with classwork, homework and assessment tasks and school examinations. So, let's start off with the first question. What does it mean to be organised? To be organised is to systematically arrange in order, or to make arrangements and preparations for an event or an activity. So what does that mean? Well, it means that when there is an assessment task or an examination, you are aware of the information regarding the task, such as the due date, units tested, and the amount of time you will need to spend. This will help you get on top of your workload and finish all tasks before the due date to a high standard. So being organised and staying on top of your workload can be extremely beneficial, especially if there is a lot of assessment tasks and tests in your way. Let us visualise what an organised person might look like. What would be some of the words to describe them? What would they look like and act like? And how would they respond to the challenges and obstacles we face in everyday life. So what are some of the words to describe them? Well, an organised person is calm, collected, confident and self-reliant. They do not depend on their friends, family or teachers but are able to work independently. Because they are organised and can effectively manage their time, they are never out of time for school revision, homework, assessments and even preparation for upcoming school events. This means that they are always ready for any challenges that they may face. And what would those people look like? They would always be well groomed, well dressed and would always have a positive mindset and display positive attitude to everything they do. And how would they face the challenges of each day? They would never be worried nor anxious because they are always prepared and ready. They will always know exactly what is going on and will never give up, as they know exactly what to do to get out of the situation. Doesn't this sound like a happy and enjoyable life? By following the steps that we will provide you, you can progress on to become an organised person that we have just described. So now, you might be asking to yourself, but how do I become more organised? Well, there are various methods which suit different people, which could ultimately help you be more organised. One popular and effective method is to write checklists. Writing checklists will help you with setting your priorities straight so that you can focus on one thing at a time. This reduces distractions and will help you get along with your work quicker and to a higher standard. Another method which could help you be more organised is using calendars. Whether the calendar is digital or on paper, they are an effective tool which could also help you with prioritising what is the most important thing to do. 
and can also help you remember when assignments and homeworks are due so that you can manage your time effectively to the best of your ability. Our final, less popular, but still an extremely effective method is weekly planners. Planning out your week on the Sunday night before the week starts will help you know what to do and what you have during the week so that you can plan out what you are going to do for homework and for assessment tasks. When you are training for a sport or have something else on, this method is especially helpful if you are playing sport and are often away from your home as it helps you to know exactly what you have and how long each of these tasks will take. Being organised at school is an extremely important skill. Knowing when things are due and how long it will take for you to complete them is instrumental. When you are busy and often forget to do things until the day or the night before it's actually due, organisation is the key to staying on top of your school life. Organisation doesn't just stay in your school life either. It can actually carry all the way through your life and can apply to all aspects of your life. The most productive workers in the workplace have schedules, timetables and calendars so they know where they need to be and how they need to get there. In the real world, if you forget something, or if you forget to go somewhere, there are heavy repercussions. Therefore, planning, scheduling, and timing are the most important parts of organisation. If you can get these three things down and packed into a timetable or a calendar, that, then you are really going to feel the positive benefits from being organised. So that was the conclusion of our second video, and hopefully you guys have gathered some great advice about organisation and methods to becoming more organised. Maybe you even started creating your own timetable or calendar. If you do, make sure you put in the 5 or 10 minutes each week to watching our videos. There are still 3 more videos that we will be uploading over the coming weeks, so make sure you guys stay tuned in and keep on working on your studies. See you in the next video.